Excellent. Well, instead of going down, the Cook County Assessor says most Chicago homeowners will see their property taxes go up mm. when they get their next bill, but he says it's not his fault. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Koslov joins us live. Dana, the assessor says if it's left to his office, homeowners wouldn't see an increase at all. Yeah, and Erica and Joe, he is blaming another Cook County department for giving big property tax breaks to the owners of big commercial buildings. And so he says what that means is that they win while the owners of homes like these lose. It's Cook County property tax bill eve, and many Chicago homeowners are dreading it. I'm hoping it doesn't go up that much. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping my fingers crossed, that's the best I can do. Jill Masucci, Hartloff and family bought and are rehabbing a Humboldt Park three flat into a single family home. Like every Chicago property, it was reassessed this year. And Cook County uh, assessor Fritz Kage says blame the Cook County Board of Review for a bigger than expected bill. Which this year, gave really lopsided reductions to the biggest commercial buildings. Most of them in the downtown area. Kagi laid it all out in this report. One example, this half a million square foot building on West Fulton. In 2021, it was assessed at $197.3 million. But Kagi says the Cook County Board of Review later reduced its value by 18% to $161.8 million. A few months later, that building sold for twice that amount. So according to the assessor's office, it cuts the owner's property tax bill by more than a million dollars. They need to explain why they are assessing buildings far below what they're selling for far below what these buildings tell their lenders that they're worth. Especially, Kagi says, because it means the property tax burden now shifts to homeowners to make up the difference. The bigger story is that people were in line to have lower bills. The average Chicagoan had a lower bill last year because of the work that we've done. It all leaves a bad taste in the mouths of people like Masucci Hartloff, who say while big business is important to fuel Chicago's economic engine, so is keeping homeowners in their homes. I'm not well connected. I'm just a homeowner and I'm trying to live in a city that I love. And if I can't afford to live here, it's a little concerning. But the chief deputy commissioner of the Board of Review is firing back. He is accusing Kagi of trying to distract people away from his own office's errors, deficiencies, and lapses. And that deputy commissioner also says, William O'Shields, also says that he defends the practices, policies, and procedures of the Cook County Board of Review. So some finger pointing going on. I'm live at Laughlin and Jackson, Dana Kozlov. CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica. Thank you, Dana.